Hi guys, Dave here with a new funk guitar lesson for you. Uh, today we're going to look at I Need Your Loving by Tina Marie, and this one's been suggested by Lloyd. So thanks for that, mate. It's a good suggestion. Um, let's get to it. So we got the intro. Um, this is all in the key of B minor, so that might help you when you're trying to make sense of it all. And we're going to slide into a B octave, basically, to start off with. So we're going to start on the fifth fret of the E. Slide up to seven. Then we're going to play the octave, which is the ninth fret on the D. And then slide it down to the seventh fret. Then the second part, you're doing that slide again, five to seven on the E. And then nine on the D. And then cut it off. Like that. Okay. Um, right before the riff starts happening, you hear this little overdub, which is, I think, done with a wah. I'm just going to turn mine on now. Like so. There we go. And it's just a 16th note triplet. Um, on the second half of beat three, and then playing in the first 16th note on beat four. Like that. So it's just going down, up, down, up basically and I think as far as the pedal goes it starts with it all the way down so it's on the treble side and then just starts to back it off like that and on the record there's quite a bit of reverb so it really kind of carries over yeah really nice effect but it's an overdub turn that back off back to normal lovely right right um just going to take you through the the main riff and the variations that you hear on the end. I, I won't go through exactly where it all happens because it just takes too long. The best thing to do is to look at my um, playthrough um, or listen to the original recording, and you'll you'll get to know when where the different endings are for that. But I'll take you through each one of them. It always starts the same way. So what that is, 7th fret on the uh, D, actually this is all on the D string, so it's going to go 7, 7, 6, 7, and you're just going down, up, down, down, like that. You do that twice, that's the first part of the riff, and that's always the same each time that you play it. Now the bit that, the variation if you like. This is one of them. It's going to go seven seven six six seven seven six seven, sliding into nine, and the picking is up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So up, up, like that. So that's the first ending. Put that together. Like that. The second ending that you get, again, it's going to be seven seven six six seven seven six, and then it goes over to seven on the A, and again, it's going to go up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So. And the third variation on that is this. Again, it's going to be seven, seven with both with ups. Then six, six, seven, seven, six. And then we're gonna play the ninth fret on the G and bend it up a tone. Again, it's gonna go up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Like that, so. Like that. So they're the three variations. Like I said earlier, I won't go through exactly where they all happen. It's best to listen to the record and it's just to save time on this video, really. Okay. So I'll scroll down here. 
Right, so they're all the kind of the single note parts that you hear on the record. Um, just before it hits the chorus, we're going to some chords. So I'm just doing um, a D chord, basically, and that's fifth fret on the A, and then seventh fret on the D, G, and B strings. And we're just gonna go down, 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 and then we move the whole shape up two frets, hit it on and up, and that's an E chord there, so you get. Uh, the other thing I would mention is that in between each strum, I'm relaxing the hand, so you get a nice staccato effect on the chord. Like that. Right, and then we get the chorus section. So that's a D major seven. So I bar on across the fifth fret from strings one to five, and we're holding down seventh fret on the B, six on the G, seventh on the D string. Play it, cut it off, and then we're gonna play a C sharp minor seven, bar at the full fret, same strings, then a fifth fret on the B, and sixth fret on the D. Give that a single strum, and then we're going to go down, up, down, up. So you get. Like that. Then we go back up to the D major 7, and we're going to do two up strums. So three up strums. Then down to that C sharp minor 7 for two down strums. Again, staccato when you do it. Then take the whole sheet the whole shape down, not whole sheep, whole shape, down to the second fret for a B minor seven. So you get. And you just play through that sequence four times. And then it just goes back to the single note riff again. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, towards the end of the song, it basically just, everything shifts up um, a semitone up one fret so the very kind of last chorus you hear on on the single it'll do two lots of this uh, so it just goes up one And then it goes back to the single note riff. Again, it's all one fret higher. And that's it. That's basically um, the entire song. It's quite simple. Once you've kind of got the grips with it, it's, uh, it's not a complicated song structure-wise. Uh, oh, incidentally, over the, over the riff, the chords over the top that are played by the keys, it's really just playing a B minor, or B minor seven. Then it plays an E major, with a B in the bass. What you'll notice is the bass player just plays the same riff over both chords, pretty much, anyway. So yeah, you just get that, and then that. Okay, All right, that's the entire song. So uh, I hope you enjoy this one, and I'll see you for one real soon.